I'm an enthusiastic hydroponic farmer who wants to help you grow your own food in two square feet. <laughs> I'm going to walk you through every step of building a small space hydroponic system. So subscribe to my channel and like this video to encourage others to start hydroponics too. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a DWC deep water culture tank that is priced right, takes just a few tools, is cheap, is easy to build, and it looks good in any small space. That's a description I haven't heard on most hydroponic videos. For this DIY tank, you will need some type of tote or bin. I've tried lightweight and light colored plastic containers, and they just don't hold up and they don't allow me to grow slightly larger plants, such as lettuce. I want something that looks decorative and looks like an indoor garden. That's exactly what this does, doesn't it, Remy? I chose a heavy duty Rubbermaid utility box and the lid that goes with it. Because it's heavy duty, it won't let in light that will allow algae to grow. It holds 4.63 gallons with the dimensions of 20.4 by 15.6 by 5 inches. That's the perfect size to fit on my small space hydroponic shelf. And it will hold enough nutrient to give my plants what they need to grow. The height fits on the shelf and gives plenty of room to adjust the grow light as my plants grow. And it's great. <laughs> so it, it matches the decor of my home office. That's just a neat added bonus so that my small space hydroponic system grows food and touches. Now, for the fun part, I get to use some of my power tools. I like that. Let's go to the shop where I can secure the lid while drilling the holes for the net cups. And here's what you'll need to DIY the lid of our tote. A power drill with a three inch hole saw attachment, another power drill or <laughs> one quarter inch drill bit, and a secure surface for you to be able to place your lid on top. I'm going to use some clamps so that the lid doesn't move around and I put some cardboard down so that I don't drill through to my work surface. I also recommend using gloves, it's a whole saw, <laughs> so work gloves, and because you're sawing, some safety goggles would be recommended. You'll also need a marker to trace around the eight net cups. I'm using three inch net cups because I like the size of those. It gives me options to grow smaller plants or larger plants if I desire. And eight seems to be the best number for the size of tote that we have. If you're growing larger plants, you may want to only put in six holes. I'm choosing, because I grow smaller heads of lettuce, I'm choosing to put in eight holes. I have, at different times, measured, calculated area, calculated distance, found the focus or center of each circle and I found that truly the best way to do it is to take your net cups, position them, where you want them to be, and then simply trace around them. Before I start to drill, I'm going to go ahead and secure my lid to the table on top of the cardboard. And I have several layers of cardboard. Put on my work gloves and my safety goggles. Before I start to drill, I'm going to give you a hint. Start out, get the drill bit in, going forward, and then as you continue to drill, go in reverse so that you don't splinter the plastic. And we are ready. We're going to position this bit into the center of each hole. We have a few more to go. I'll speed it up, and we'll see you when I'm finished with all eight. You can see that there are a few of the plastic pieces and I'll take some sandpaper or you can use a utility knife to clean up those edges. I'd recommend if you use a utility knife that you have your gloves back on. And now we have all eight holes in our tank. We're ready to go. If you truly want to be sustainable, self-sufficient and resilient, 
then you need to learn how to grow your own food in case you ever have to. That's why I'm here. <laughs> this DIY tank that we made in this video was cheap, easy, fun to make, functional, and it looks really nice. <laughs> I can work in my own home office and grow food in a small space hydroponic system at the same time. And now, <laughs> you can too.